Tech threes are individuals that have been doing this for quite some time. They have gone through our uh, on the job training. They've been, they've checked off that they can do certain things by themselves. There's more responsibility. They're tech three superintendents. They, they're the ones that are responsible for the projects from startup to all the way to the finish. So they need to make sure they have some additional tools uh, that are not the responsibility of our new people. So in order to get that job, they'll have those. Now, one of the things is a security screw set. Now we're gonna go back to this jeweler set. This is why I like this, this kit. There are times when we have security screws that we have to deal with because the customer doesn't want anybody to get in there and take off something, be able to get into something without having a specialty tool that just not everybody carries. So with this kit I purchased, well, I've got the security tips in there. Again, it's excellent. This right here did not, it's strictly screwdrivers. This right here has multiple tips. So I can do the jeweler screwdrivers, I can do the security. Uh, another thing we have is RJ45 crimper. These are made for mod plugs. You're plugging in your computer. You're plugging in your phone into the wall. Well, that clear piece on the very end of that cable, that is a mod plug. So it takes a special tool to crimp that onto those cables. Allen wrench set. Uh, you can buy these. Uh, you can buy just a standard set. You can buy a metric set. Uh, there's all kinds of different styles. This happens to be one that I've got. This is just a standard set, has different lengths. Um, these, I like these because they're much longer. Uh, you can get some that are shorter and are, those are hard to use when you're trying to tighten something up. A toner. This is something that we don't use that often. Back in the day, we used it a lot. We use these for troubleshooting. And it's strictly for troubleshooting, say we're somewhere and the customer has a problem, uh, but the cables aren't labeled. So these come in a pair, you have to have both. So what we do is we put this toner on the cable and it's sending a tone through that cable. So when this tip hits that cable, so it puts out a tone. So when we get that noise, Okay, we found the cable. So that's what we use this for. A butt set. Uh, again, we don't use these as much as we did back in the day when it was analog, because everything's going digital, going IP. So now with uh, the digital age, you don't have dial tone anymore. But there are still legacy systems out there. Customers still have analog for different reasons. Uh, that if you've got to trace or you've got to make sure you have dial tone. And a lot of times back in the day when we were testing with these service providers, we would connect, we would get a dial tone and we call them while we are there. And they give us instructions. Okay, I need you to do this. I need you to do that. And that type of thing. This is pretty much a basic one, but you can get some that has all kinds of bells and whistles. Punch tool. We use these sometimes, that's for our jacks. Now back in the day with our jacks, which this is a jack, and this is what we use now, it's completely different, technology has changed, but this used to be one whole piece and it had connectors on there that you had to put these pairs through those IDC connects and you had to punch, punch them down. But this is a punch tool. And there are times we still use these. There's still some manufacturers that still have the punch tool. But the one thing about it, these come with interchangeable blades. So you have these for Cat 5. You have them for Cat 6. It takes a different blade for these. Uh, and you have some back. Uh, there's still some 66 blocks out there. Well, that's a 66 blade. So it goes right on the, it's designed for a 66 block and a 66 block only. So these tips are made for one sided, will cut because you have extra length in there. So when you punch it, well, it'll cut the extra length off. 
So one side has the blade on it. The other side, if you just need to punch something, it's just strictly a punch. It does not cut anything. This is a Cat 5. This is a Cat 6. Cat 6 is bigger for us, Category 6 cable. So it does take a different type of thing. The IDC punch tool is different. It's at an angle, it's bigger. So you have to use the correct tools and use the correct tools because if you do not, at some point, there's gonna be a failure. 